morning. Uh, it's a good day, a humid morning, beautiful sky. Uh, the grass is green, so that's a good thing. But it's a good day to be here with you. Uh, thank you to Eunice Lehmacher, who, who recorded a devotion for yesterday. Great message by Eunice yesterday. Um, and I, I'm sorry that it did not pop up as a live video since I just uploaded the recording. Um, so hopefully you found it eventually. But usually when we do a live video like this, Pastor John and I, uh, it'll pop up. And so you're just on Facebook and it says, hey, University Lutheran Church is live. Uh, and that didn't happen. So I, I hope you did find the video eventually. It looks like it had a lot of views. So um, that's a good thing. But thanks again, Eunice, for a great message yesterday. Today, um, I want to talk a little bit about mushrooms <laughs> because uh, I've seen a lot of mushrooms recently. And I think some of it's just because of the the wet weather we had a, a week ago or so. And um, mushrooms are just a curious little thing. So I want to say something about mushrooms and try to relate it to faith a little bit. And then it's Friday. Uh, I'd love to um, hear anything you guys got going on this weekend to try to, you know, find a little joy in, in the middle of a pandemic. But it's Friday, so I hope that this is a good weekend for all and um, that we, you know, are able to, I don't know, find some sunshine in the midst of these days. I think it is going to rain tomorrow, ironically, but um, hopefully there's something this weekend that's going to give you some life and uh, give you some rest, maybe. Let's pray, and then let's uh, hop into this devotion about mushrooms. And many of you probably know more about mushrooms than I do in my quick little search, so uh, let's just think about that for a little bit. But let us pray first. Holy God, thank you for this morning Thank you for creation. Thank you for this time, this community. Uh, we ask that you be here with us this morning and throughout the day. Send your spirit into our lives to guide us, to give us hope and peace and faith, um, and to remind us that you are near um, in the good days and the bad days, that we are not alone. We have you, we have this community, and we have uh, a lot of love in our lives that might show up in different ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So yes, I um, would love to talk about mushrooms, and most of it is because I have been seeing some big mushrooms growing in my neighbor's yard across the street, um, and then some in ours, and then our LCM students went about a hike in the Clemson Experimental Forest, the, I think it was Sunday, and um, we saw a bunch of different kinds of mushrooms. And the funny thing about mushrooms is that they just pop up after a rain or some humid weather maybe. Um, if the ground is wet and maybe the conditions are a little darker and cooler, then these mushrooms pop up. And it's funny to me that, you know, you might spend a lot of time in your yard working on some things, grooming certain plants, making sure that the grass is trimmed and, and lush in certain areas. Um, and you might spend a whole lot of time on certain things and it looks okay, right? Maybe sometimes your, your garden is a little mediocre. Sometimes it's beautiful and amazing because your work pays off. But it seems a little fickle sometimes, the, the garden work or the yard work. Now mushrooms, though, they don't need much help. <laughs> they just pop up. They just need the right conditions and they'll pop up out of nowhere. And I just think that the contrast between all the hard work and sometimes getting a great product with the garden and then the, the spontaneity of these mushrooms makes me laugh a little bit. And I, you know, mushrooms, sometimes we just try to take them up real quick. We don't want too many of them in our yard. Some people try to eat certain mushrooms. I get nervous about which mushrooms are actually edible, etc. But I read something. I was trying to figure out why it happens. And I read something about mushrooms actually are a sign of good soil in your yard because they what they feed off of is this um organic matter that would be in a good soil and so when the mushrooms pop up maybe unexpectedly maybe um just quickly and then they're gone in the next day or even the next hour right that's a quick sign that there is good soil there 
And I think that was something that surprised me because I thought of mushrooms maybe a little bit, you know, other funguses grow in areas that I might not think are such good soil. So it, it surprised me and it showed how little I know actually about yard work and gardening. But, um, but I thought that was a little bit theological because I don't know about you guys, but there are lots of times in my everyday that I'm working really hard on something, trying to get down to every single tiny detail to make sure it goes perfectly, and then it just runs amok. <laughs> and it goes the total opposite way of my expectations. Um, that happens a lot in campus ministry, I think, because it's so fluid and, and what I think might be perfect doesn't always happen. And it's frustrating when you put a lot of work into something and then it doesn't turn out the way that you expect it to. And then sometimes on the outskirts, there are these things that pop up out of nowhere, like a mushroom after a, a long rain in the dark underbrush of a, a forest or something, and remind you that there is good soil there, even if all the hard work that you put into it didn't make you feel that way. And I think that kind of fits our relationship with God sometimes, that we might get frustrated with everything going on around us, and then every now and then we need a little mushroom pop-up to say, hey, hang on a second, you're not alone, you know? Uh, there is good going on here, even if it didn't go the way that you expected. Maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but I think about that a lot as a pastor because, you know, some weeks I don't think my sermon is very good, but it touches somebody differently um, in a way that I might not have intended, right? That somebody gets something out of it that I thought was just a, a quick remark that I made, but that was what they hung on to. And I always chalk that up to the Holy Spirit. You know, I, I spend some time on a sermon and I, I preach it and I hope that it comes across well. Um, but really what happens there is I say some words, they come out of my mouth, they go into your ears, and the Holy Spirit is in there doing something incredible. I think the same goes with so many things that we do in our lives. Um, we might try our hardest to, what are some things that we try to do as Christians? Love our neighbors, right? We might try our hardest to make sure that we're taking care of people that we love, uh, and every now and then we're gonna fall short. But we hope that there's this Holy Spirit in there to remind us, hey, no, I'm still here doing some good in the world. And for me, at least this morning, that's what these pop-up mushrooms made me think about. Um, this tiny sign that there is good soil, despite the fact that it seems like everything is falling around, uh, falling down around us. Um, despite the fact that all of our efforts seem to go to waste sometimes. That this reminder that our our, our efforts are not going to waste, and that um, our faith is not in vain. Um, and that's just something I was thinking about this morning. A song that came to mind is this hymn, Lord, Let My Heart Be Good Soil. And I think it comes from that parable about the different kinds of soil, uh, the parable of the sower, I think, where um, this guy sows some seed. A farmer went out to sow his seed and he was scattering the seed. Some fell along the path. The birds came and ate it up. Some fell along the rocky places. It sprang up quickly, but the shallow, the soil was shallow, so then it dried up. Other seed fell among the thorns, which choked the plants. And still other seed fell on good soil. It came up, it grew, and produced a crop, and multiplied 30, 60, 100 times. This is a, a parable from Mark. It's in a couple other Gospels, too. But this parable of the sower comes to mind because it talks about this good soil. And that song, Lord, let my heart be good soil. Um, and I, you know, sometimes we get caught up in what we're doing in the world. Uh, but this song, which is kind of a prayer, and this passage talk a lot about what God is doing, where God is sowing in the world. And if we get too bogged down by what's going on just with us and our efforts, we might forget that God is doing some incredible things over here, or maybe right next to us, um, and that there's good soil all around us. I just think that's a, a great thing. So whether or not you like mushrooms, think about the, the good soil that's all around you. 
Um, and I see your comment, Ken, I do wonder which wild mushrooms are safe to eat, but I, I'm not adventurous enough to <laughs> to try it out. And I don't think you should just try it out. I think you should be a very good professional before you eat wild mushrooms. Um, so I'm not endorsing any wild mushroom eating, but there are people out there that can forage and, and find some good things. Let's, uh, let's think about that for today and, and try to notice where God is popping up in our lives all around us. Notice where there is some good soil. And um, know that it's not all on our shoulders, but that we can just join in where God is already doing great things in good soil around us. And I think that's um, part of faith is trying to just be aware of where God is and, and joining in. Let's think about that for today. I do want to um, include a, a prayer here at the end for uh, anybody who's been affected by the hurricane so far. And, and I haven't looked at the forecast recently, but I, I just, it was strong when it hit land. And so um, for people who have been displaced, whose lives have been overturned and, and that kind of thing by the hurricane, we pray for them. And the Lutheran church is especially good at, at responding with um, support the disaster relief and stuff so we'll look out for ways that we can help um, directly indirectly etc but we'll we'll say a prayer for them and uh, and we'll go about our days trying to look for um, other ways to, to love the world around us let us pray Holy God we ask that you help our hearts to be good soil um, that we find the good soil all around us, that we notice you popping up in our lives everywhere. Um, and we ask for your comfort, not only in our lives, but in the lives of people we have never met and we might never meet, but those who have been affected by Hurricane Laura and all the destruction that such a strong force can do um, during the storm, after the storm. We ask for people who might have been displaced to have some kind of stability in their lives. We ask for uh, people whose homes were destroyed to have some care for them. Um, we ask for businesses to be rebuilt, etc. cetera. Uh, but mostly we ask for your comfort and peace um, and for your faith to encourage people around those areas to reach out to those who need help the most. Um, and we ask for your spirit to guide us in ways that we can help um, and those kinds of relief responses too. This day and every day, we um, thank you for all that you do to give us faith and hope and love in our lives. Uh, and may that continue the rest of this weekend and um, into the next week and just every day that we wake up. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks y'all. Um, any comments in the sections here, I'll, I'll come back and look later. But thank you for joining me and for watching. And uh, God bless. I'll be here tomorrow as well. See ya. Let me find the live, end live video button. There we go.